Welcome. I'm Morgan and we're in the Jackrabbit home. On today's show I want to show you, <laughs> if I'm successful, how to felt a set of shoes. In theory, this should work. I've tested it out in my mind and now we're going to test it out in real life. So what you're going to need, bubble wrap, tape measure, rolling pin, fibers, bananas. First step, I'm going to measure out my foot on this bubble wrap here and I got a marker. Oh, I forgot to tell you, marker. That marker and outline your foot. Try to be in a relaxed position. She said a scissors, and now we're gonna cut out the foot. Cut out foot. Take the fibers and now lay them on the pattern. I'm gonna go all one direction, then I'm gonna go all the other direction. And then I'll turn it over and make sure that it's big enough. We're laying it in the shape of that foot we cut out and laying a little extra around the sides so it's actually bigger than our cutout. Paying special attention to the edges where our shoes tend to fall apart. On the toes, the big toe and the little toe and on the sides. Keep it in the shape of that foot. As you can see, it's a little extended from the pattern. Now what I want to do is start to build the top of my shoe. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm just going to lay fibers over this whole area and everywhere that fibers are exposed is going to connect and where the plastic piece is is going to remain empty so it's going to remain hollow. Same process. This is where you can see the plastic. You don't want to see the plastic at all. I see a little spot right here. Kind of gently bunch that in together, keeping it the general shape of a big fluffy slipper for now. After a while, you just want to guess where the plastic was and try to keep forming your foot shape. Now I'm to the part where I want to add some design to the top of this. My leg stump is going to go in right there. Biggie toe, pinky toe. So I'm going to keep that in mind. Got my shoe design all lined out. Now I want to have these shoes come up a little bit like high tops. Big stump cuff piece. And I've got a noodle that you would take to the pool. And we don't need much, so it's not going to ruin the noodle. That's where the measuring tape comes in. Right. Just hold it to the bottom of your foot. memory of that point, I'm going to cut that piece off. And I'm just going to roll this bubble wrap, and this is not even necessary, but I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to roll the bubble wrap around that piece, and you can also do this if you need your noodle to be bigger. So you just measure your leg and see how much room you need, and give yourself room. Tie on your bubble wrap if you choose to use it, or tape it, or whatever. So that's our leg piece. And I'm just going to lay my fibers down in a square shape. Same crosshatch pattern. Back and forth, back and forth. And we're going to need to lay out enough that we can wrap it around that form. I take my form. And I'm going to start rolling it over itself. And we want the two edges to connect. That's what's going to make it perfectly round that seam area now and fill it again and now is the time to just bunch it into shape before we take it to the felt. Gently turn it over and take your netting and start to wrap it around Make sure to tie up those ends so it doesn't smush out the end. We don't know what it is. Ankle cuff. It's going to keep our ankles warm. Here I've got my booties complete with design. 
It's the refelted booty. And I've got two leg stump pieces wrapped up and ready to be felted. I start with a spray bottle full of hot soapy water. I've put this mat down to give this surface a bit of a grip, but it's not necessary, but it, it's nice to have. So before I even do my wet felting, I'm just gonna start that felting process by mushing my leg stump together here. Starting it off, starting the fibers bonding. The whole thing about felting is that there's barbs on the the wool, and when it's dry and fluffy, it it's all tangly and it can be easily tangled together. And then we're gonna add hot soapy water. The soap makes the fibers able to slide together and lock in place and get strong. And then we're gonna take it through a shock process, which is gonna really bind all those fibers together. But right now. This is the beginning of the wet felting, leg stump. So then I just want to apply my hot soapy water as you can get, to get it down to size. And it's going to shrink a lot in this process from being that big poofy thing we saw to being a nice crisp tube essentially. Now that we've rolled our leg stump pieces, piece, pieces, about five minutes a piece, as vigorously as we could to compact all those fibers together, we're gonna take it through the shock process while it's still in its little booty thing here. So the shock process is we're going to start with hot water. You can either have a hot sink of uh, water, you know, you can have a whole sink full of hot water and a whole sink full of cold, or you can do it the way I'm going to do it, which is I'm just going to pull hot water straight from the tap, and then I'm going to switch the tap to cold. And we're going to do that several times, starting on warm, as hot as you can get. Once you feel like the fibers are good and saturated with that hot, hot water, don't burn yourself, switch it to cold. Run it over. Doing this back and forth, get the whole noodle, and back to hot. And I'm just going to send it through this shock process while it's on its noodle. Okay, that's our boot top right there. It's pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. Now we're going to go back through that shock process again. I'm just going to slide the noodle out. So now we're going back through the shock process. Back to cold. Now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of folding it into halves and quarters. And being very gentle with it, letting the water get into it, and then squeezing it out. Go back to hot. Shock process, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, ending on hot, swoosh it, and then you can kind of like squish it down, just don't wring it, don't twist it yet, later. Okay, there it is, that's our tube, now we want to harden the fibers, and the way we're going to harden the fibers is we're going to beat them, so we're just going to throw it down on the table, straight down, straight down. Beating the fire, beating the fibers. There it is. It's been through the shock. It's been through the felting process. It's been through the shock process, and we've banged it on the hill in the hardening process. And now we're gonna let it dry so that we can assemble it later. I'm gonna go ahead and felt everything else I have. Um, let's go to the shoes because that's kind of a different process. It's not that different, but I'll just show you how I wrap them in case you want to wrap them the same way. Next up. Now we're ready to start felting that shoe booty piece. I don't want to let it fall apart. So I'm going to set it on my netting here. Got that netting off the leg stump piece and I'm going to use it again here. Make sure all your pieces are how you want them. And I'm going to wrap it in a really similar fashion. Not tight as the other one, but I'm going to snug it up the same way as I wrap it. Back to the felting process. Soapy, hot, soapy water. You're going to want to roll them. And we're going to roll that together on this guy. Just roll them 
always left, right, diagonal, left, diagonal, right, 45 degree angle, 90 degree angle. Big pancake rolled out, on my foot booty. Back to the shock process. There we go. And I know it looks giant right now, and that's okay. Remember we got our little piece of plastic inside there? That's the outline of our foot. We're gonna use that later. Back to the shock process. Now we need to establish, start with the booties. We need to establish where the hole for my foot is gonna go in. So I just wanna find where that plastic is again. Not quite in the middle. A little further from the middle. And now I'm going in for an exploratory examination. Yeah. Okay, so I made a little nip. I'm gonna go in and find the edges, which is where the heel is. I'm in the center. I'm just gonna gently, gently, gently open that up. Pull out my plastic pattern. And I might have to cut this, but I need to open it up enough for my foot to be able to slip in. So I made my foothole. There we go. I've stretched it gently until it's the right size. You can test by putting your foot in. So that's where my foot is in, the little pattern. And I don't want to take off all this extraneous stuff, but I do have a lot of extraneous stuff in the back here that I'm going to have to take off. So, the first thing I'm just going to take my scissors and trim the, the excess that I can't sew off, but I'm being sparing because I'd rather not cut. But it's got a big piece here, so we gotta get that off. That's big. Okay, so big bare foot. That's what we're looking for. Now the first thing I want to do before I put the leg stump on is I'm gonna roll up these sides. This is gonna create like the little booty cushion for my foot, and I'm gonna sew them down. And you can hand sew them or machine sew them, whatever works best. We got our little foot mitten to do is stretch this hole if it isn't already the size of an ankle stump piece. We're just going to match them, so to speak. And then we would start at the heel. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect it here with my heel piece, and then I'm going to fold that extra fluff up. Now that I've got my leg stump sewn on all the way around and I took care of that heel by bringing it up and sewing it up there, I'm just going to take care of all that extra fluff that we talked about. That we trimmed off a little bit. I'm going to take care of the rest of it by carefully sewing it on my foot. And you don't need to sew it on your foot. I'm just doing this because I like want to. Be real careful. There's my booties. Just want to take you through a quick overview of these. We've taken that extra material and sewn them up and how neat or crazy you do that is totally up to you. I like the crazy look. And then I've just decoratively um, stitched up around here. Then I've stitched my leg stump onto my booty there. <clears throat> I've taken the heel piece that's extra and bumped it up my heel there. Sewed it right up there. And then I've done some decorative stitching up around the top. It just helps it remain strong and steady. I'll show you the other one. See, these are both like individual shoes here. They're both very different, which I like a lot. I'm gonna keep working on this one. All right, that's how it felt a booty. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm Morgan, and we're in the Jagrabbit Hole. Till next time.